dear brothers and sisters today let us continue the bible study on the acts of the apostles chapter 18 chapter 18 verse 1 on onwards let us listen to these word so we were reading that saint paul was in athens from athens he had a tough time and only some people got converted and then he had to leave athens and he came to corinth and when he was in corinth let us read after this paul left athens and went to corinth corinth was very famous city of the roman empire corinth is like a hub where every it's like a crossroads for all the travelers those who travel long distance they come to stay in corinth and it is like a a, a, a place where mix uh, everyone come together gather together so corinth is very important city of the roman empire and after this um and uh, let's read verse 2 there he found a jew named aquila and native of a native of pontus who had recently come from italy with his wife priscilla because claudius had ordered all jews to leave rome paul went to see them so then he there he found a jew named aquila and priscilla you we have heard these names many times because they are known as saints aquila and priscilla they are very holy people they are jewish people they were in italy that means they were in rome but they had to leave rome because of certain reasons because the emperor claudius ordered everyone to leave rome everyone to leave rome and therefore he they came to um uh, the corinth so there is a reason why these people were asked to leave some historians especially there is a famous historian suetonius he has written down later that there was a rights among the jewish people because of a person called christus in fact some people said maybe they he is mis and pronouncing or misreading it because it may be about christus Chris, Chris, jesus christ because of jesus christ there was divisions in the jewish community because of these community riots or a conflict between the groups and therefore emperor said all the jewish people to leave so this is some historian say but there is no uh, surety for these information but still uh, there are some historians speak about it so paul went to see them Paul went to see them Paul went to see whom Priscilla Aquila and Priscilla and both are Jewish people and they are very good people because about whom saint i mean Aquila and Priscilla about whom saint Paul has written later in the letter to Romans in fact uh, saint Paul wrote many letters in the in the city of Cor- uh, Corinth when he was in Corinth he was there almost for more than one and a half years nearly one and a half years he was there in he stayed he does, normally doesn't stay so long in one place but he stayed in corinth for a long time and that was the time he wrote the letter to romans there is a reason why uh, uh, he wrote the letter to romans and he wrote the letter to thessalonians because uh, silas and uh, timothy sorry uh, yes silas and timothy they are still in thessalonica they are supposed to join Paul in Athens but Paul had to leave Athens early therefore they did not come to Athens so he is still waiting for uh, Timothy and Silas they had not come they are still in Thessalonica and later we will see he will write a letter to Thessalonians because of some reasons uh, i will explain to you that so when he was in Corinth Corinth was a very famous city because it's like a hub very important city of a roman empire and there is also lots of immorality in Corinth normally a hub like a huge hub a big city uh, where there is lots of cultures come together all the nations come nationalities come together normally in such cities are notorious for all immorality sexual immorality all kinds of unethical things taking place so that is why when you read the letter to corinthians saint paul speaks a lot about sexual immorality and he speaks about uh, how to overcome sexual all your body is the temple of the holy spirit do not entertain fornication all these kinds of 
uh, advises that there in the first corinthians and second corinthians and he wrote the letter to romans from corinth that is why even in the letter to romans he has in yeah, he has informed all these sexual immorality is mentioned too much uh, i mean uh, lots of uh, mentioning about these things you can see this because that is where that is what he is seeing around and when he was there in uh, corinth he found about these two people aquila and priscilla and he went to see them because he knew they are very good people they are holy people they are christians they are believers that is why they had to uh, run away from rome because emperor claudius already sent them back that means the christians were already spread in different places because after the festival uh, many became christians and they all had gone back to their original countries so they were also spreading christianity there wherever they went so that is the reason the emperor claudius had to order all the jewish people to leave because of christians even other jewish people also has to leave so this how that is how the priscilla and aquila reached there was 3 and because he was of the same trade he stayed with them so he stayed with these people who stayed saint paul stayed with aquila and priscilla because saint paul is a tent maker tent making tent with the skin of the animals tent making is a business and which even saint paul was a tent maker and aquila and priscilla both of them are tent makers and that is why um uh, he stayed with them he is because they are all same trade and so they know each other and and they work together that means saint paul not only preached the gospel he worked hard for his livelihood that is why in the later stages he saint paul speaks the uh, i did not live with your money i lived with my hard work so that you can see later when he speaks about it and in the in the letters he had mentioned that means saint paul worked hard for his own earnings for his livelihood he collected money by working hard but at the same time uh, he preached the gospels moving around the world and there are also people who were sponsored is uh, uh, staying because later we will see uh, corinthians collect money and send it to saint paul to take care of his ministry but at the same time he used this for the ministry but for his personal use he used to work hard as a tent maker and uh, he worked with these two people because these two people priscilla and aquila they are also tent makers so he stayed with them and they worked together in the tent tent making and this uh, aquila and priscilla he, they were so close to saint paul we read romans chapter 16 uh, was 3 uh, to 4 we read like this greet prisca and aquila who work with me in christ jesus who risk their necks for my life to whom not only i give thanks but also all the churches of the gentiles so saint paul is writing to romans to greet prisilla and aquila because they worked with saint paul and he they risk their life for him because they kept him in their home it is against the law because he is the one who is searched by the governors and the leaders to, uh, to crucify him and kill him and now he is staying with priscilla and aquila so it is they risk their life to keep him therefore he is appreciative about them praise the lord so let's go back to acts of the apostle chapter 18 verse 3 because he was of the same trade he stayed with them and they worked together by trade they were tent makers let's read the next one we read like this every sabbath he would argue in the synagogue and would try to convince jews and greeks every sabbath day he used to go to synagogue and he used to speak to all the jewish and greek people verse 5 when silas and timothy arrived from macedonia you know silas and timothy they were in thessalonica macedonia macedonia is the bigger name but thessalonica is a particular name so they were in thessalonica and from thessalonica silas and timothy arrived and they came, and they came and joined paul in corinth paul was occupied with proclaiming the word testifying to the jews that the messiah jesus is messiah jesus the messiah was jesus 
So Paul was occupied with proclaiming the word, testifying the Jews that the Messiah was Jew, Jesus. You know, when uh, when Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was so encouraged by them. Let's read verse 6. When they opposed and... Okay, the verse 5. So Paul was... Saint Paul was so encouraged by Silas and Timothy when they came. And that is why suddenly he started preaching so strongly that Jesus is the Messiah. You know why he was encouraged? How do you know... The, how do we know that he was so encouraged by the presence of Timothy and Silas? Because Timothy and Silas were living there with the Thessalonians for a long time. And now they came and joined with Paul. And they said, what is happening in Thessalonica? And when he heard all the good news about Thessalonians, the Christians in Thessalonica, Paul was so encouraged. So he was so empowered. And that is why he started preaching about Jesus as the Messiah more powerfully. We read like this. That is why immediately as a thanksgiving, he wrote a letter to Thessalonians. He wrote a letter to Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 6 onwards, we read like this. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 6. Timothy has just now come to us from you. He is writing to Thessalonians. Timothy has just now come to us from you. And has brought us the good news of your faith and love. I was so happy that you are having a good faith and love. He has told us also that you always remember us. Kindly long to see us. Just as we long to see you. So he is writing a letter to Thessalonians and said. They came and told me that you are waiting for us. Verse 7. Verse 7. We read like this. For this reason, brothers and sisters, during all our distress and persecution, we have been encouraged about you through your faith. We were so encouraged even in our persecution. Verse 8. For we now live if you continue to stand firm in the Lord. We now live because you are standing. Verse 9. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy that we feel before our God because of you? Because of you, we feel so joyful happy praise the lord and then verse 10 night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you face to face and restore whatever is lacking in your faith so saint paul was so encouraged hearing about all the good news about what people are changing you know the, the greatest happiness of a preacher is when people are getting changed after the listening to the word of god when they change their life that is the greatest satisfaction and happiness for a preacher and the, you know, the greatest discouragement is after listening to all the preachings, people go become bad and worse. And that is the biggest discouragement for every preacher. So always remember this. When, when we go and preach the word of God and you see people repenting and converting their life, this is the biggest blessing and biggest, uh, you know, the satisfaction and consolation a preacher gets. But when you see after there are people who are living with you or moving with you are listening to the word of God daily and after all these things and falling into the sins and problems again and again, which is the worst and the biggest discouragement for, for the those who preach. Always uh, remember this. So here, St. Paul, it was the greatest encouragement when he came to know that the church which he just started is flourishing and everyone is changed and all are living a very strong life. And it was the greatest blessing for him. And he was so encouraged. So he spoke the preaching word of God so strongly. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue reading. Acts of the Apostle, chapter 18, verse 5. When Silas and Timothy arrived in Macedonia, Paul was occupied with proclaiming the word, testifying to the Jews that the Messiah was Jesus. Continue reading verse 6. When they opposed and reviled him in protest, he shook the dust from his clothes and said to them, Who opposed? The Jewish people who were in Corinth. They opposed and reviled him. Reviled means they even blasphemed because he said Jesus is the Messiah which the Jewish people could not accept. They opposed him, reviled him. Then Paul was very angry. He protested because they didn't accept him. He protested. How did he protest? He shook the dust from his clothes 
and he said i don't have any connection with you not even the dust should be there in my dress and he removed the, even the dust from dust dust of that synagogue from his cloth and he said your blood be on your own heads i am innocent from now on i will go to the gentiles he understood these people are not going to change so your blood be on your own heads and i am innocent of this i am out i am no more a jew i am a christian and i am going to the gentiles from there he decided to go to the gentiles only to gentiles because he was so upset with them because they rejected him they blasphemed against him they made fun of jesus blasphemy means they spoke against jesus and he considered it as a blasphemy and they reviled him let's read verse 7 then he left the synagogue and went to the house of a man named tishus tishus justus a worshipper of god his house was next door to the synagogue so this is there is two people mentioned here one is justus and the another one is crispus these two people they are all holy people uh, here tishus justus he is he is a jewish man but he is he was living next to the synagogue so saint paul was angry with the synagogue and the people there so he went next to the synagogue and there he entered into tishus justus house and there he stayed there and this justus is a very is one of those people whom paul baptized even crispus and um, he was very close to saint paul later he wrote colossians chapter 4 verse 11 Colossians chapter 4 verse 11 we read Saint Paul writes about it and Jesus who is called Justus greets you when he was in in that place when he was writing this letter to Colossians Justus was with him these are the only ones of the circumcision among my co-workers for the kingdom of God and they have been a comfort to me so Justus was a big comfort for Saint Paul he writes about Jesus is called who is called Justus because He, that was his name jesus joshua or jesus was that was the name of justus so this is a different version of the greek language and then let's continue reading acts of the apostle chapter 18 verse 7 then he left the synagogue and went to the house of a man named tishus justus a worshipper of god his house was next to the door of the synagogue was 8 crispus the official of the synagogue he is the in charge of the synagogue crispus that is another jewish he became a believer in the lord together with all his household and many of the corinthians who heard paul became believers and were baptized crispus the in charge of the synagogue became christian got baptized and who baptized paul himself baptized we read first corinthians chapter 1 verse 14 onwards first corinthians 114 i thank god that i baptized none of you except crispus and gaius these are the only people whom i baptized i thank god for that he says and uh, verse 15 verse 15 we read like this so that no one can say that you are baptized in my name so no one can claim that i belong to this group because saint paul was so angry against the groupism he said some people are making groups i belong to apollos i belong to peter i belong to paul thank god i didn't baptize much people so nobody will say i they belong to my group i have no group so saint paul is thanking god that he didn't baptize not because baptism is something bad but because people were misusing the in the name of baptism so that no one can say that you were baptized in my name verse 16 i did baptize also the household of stephanus beyond that i do not know whether i baptized anyone else so this is what saint paul says praise the lord and this crispus about whom acts of the apostle chapter 18 was uh, eight says crispus later paul made him a bishop bishop of chalcedon he was the bishop of chalcedon later so there are these are the early bishops and priest so so crispus was a bishop of chalcedon later he was killed also he was martyred praise the lord so crispus the official of the synagogue became a believer in the lord together with all his household and many of the corinthians who heard paul became believers and were baptized let's continue reading one night the lord said to paul in a vision do not be afraid but speak and do not be silent one night the lord said to paul in a vision because 
Saint Paul was so upset with the Jewish people. Jewish people were all starting revolting against Saint Paul. That is why he said, "I will not stay with you." And he was so angry with them, and they were angry with him, and he got discouraged. And then one day he was just spending time in the house of uh, these uh, Justus, and then God came. Jesus came in a vision. Lord said, "Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not be silent." don't get discouraged don't be afraid but speak and do not be silent because recently after the first two three places where he jesus uh, paul preached he was so brave but in the later stages you can see the moment revolt starts he runs away from the moment problem starts he runs away so he that means he slowly getting the fear inside of him unknowingly or knowingly because he he was tortured terribly he was beaten up terribly he was imprisoned terribly and he was once he was almost killed and he came back to life and then he continued the preaching so he was so brave but the problem is he is not discouraged by the persecution he was discouraged by some places where he could not convert many people for example athens his ministry was a failure from athens he has come to corinth and now corinth these people are opposing so he is feeling disturbed because he doesn't mind going through persecution he is not bothered about death he is not bothered about any of those things he was bothered about his ministry getting doubt dull his ministry getting poor poor response from the people not many are getting converted so this discouraged him and that was why he was taking time in corinth otherwise he was running from one place to another but he spent more than one and a half years in corinth and that is when jesus appeared to him again the lord said to him in a vision and said do not be afraid but speak and do not be silent do not be afraid but speak and don't be silent jesus said and he jesus said one more thing you think you are alone here not many people are there you have crispus and justus and you not many people but jesus said i am with you i am with you and he says no one will lay a hand on you to harm you i promise you no one will touch you because there are many in this city who are my people so jesus is giving an assurance you don't see many because you see only two three people but i see many in this city so continue speaking don't get discouraged preach the gospel don't be silent there are many people in this city you will be successful in this city so in fact you know since there are many people my people here you will be protected you know that is one message which you can see you know when god was say uh, destroying sodom and gomora Abraham said if there is some people good people will you save them God said yes if there are at least 10 people i will save them you know my dear brothers and sisters in a family if there is at least one person to pray and lead a good life that family will be protected because of that one person if there are people in a community in a family or in a city who are very good and interceding not running after anything else but running after jesus and believing in god trusting in god that place will be protected that place will be always anointed you know today we are celebrating the feast of saint clair and there was a time assisi was attacked by a gentile country and the, uh, the leader of the king came and surrounded assisi everyone was scared or in the convent all the virgins all the nuns they were so scared and they came running to the leader of their convent that is saint clair and cried in front of saint clair and said we are going to be lost these people are going to abuse us and we we are completely going to be destroyed these people are going to destroy us then saint clair she ran to the chapel and where the blessed sacrament was exposed and she held the blessed sacrament to her heart and she cried and said jesus my lord you are the only protection for me i cannot protect these people you have to protect us then suddenly he heard a vo- she heard a voice from blessed sacrament i will protect you one sent statement suddenly she said you have to protect me not only protect the us but you have to protect the all assisi the whole city of assisi and then jesus agreed 
and she carried the blessed sacrament through the window and she lifted the blessed sacrament in front of everyone all the enemies saw this they were amazed they got shocked and they ran away and she protected the whole city of assisi my dear brothers and sisters if there is at least some people who believe in jesus and love jesus and you whole city will be protected so jesus is telling saint paul don't worry nobody can touch you you will be protected because there are so many people who are my people there are so many people in this city who are my people therefore you will be protected praise the lord that is why when we go for outreach ministry when we go preaching and ministry we ask people to intercede when we go to a city or a place or a preaching there are people in the seeding for us so that we will be protected that is why the intercession is very important when we go for any ministry when people are there to pray for us intercede for us we will be protected the ministry will be protected so that is very important praise the lord when your family members going for something your husband your wife you are going for interview there should be somebody to intercede for them somebody to pray for them and then you will see they will be protected they will be blessed because there are people my people there in the city therefore nothing will happen to you there are some people who belong to me in the family therefore you will be blessed so this is the message the lord wants to give you praise the lord was 11 he stayed there a year and a six months teaching the word of god among them one and a half years he stayed there so let him stay there peacefully we will meet tomorrow